Well, we've been on the beach today here yes. in Miami. Yes, we love it here. Yeah, sun's going down. Thought we'd record a quick video here for you guys. This is my checklist for finding a great RV spot. Yes. All the things that I look for or we look for to basically have the best possible spot for the best amount of money. And so let's get into it. Let's do it. Right, number one, it's the view. It's all Always about the view. The view. See where you're gonna back into, where your windows are gonna line up with, how, how the sunset's gonna be, the sunrise, all of those important things, and that's just, it's always number one yeah, for us. Yeah, because we work a lot from the RV, and so we would like to have a great view that's inspiring, because we're, we're on the creative side. Exactly. Yeah. And this is not in any particular order, but another one on the list is how you fit into the site. Are you able to get your long RV, like our 40 foot RV into a spot? Space, yeah. How close are other RVs? I mean, we literally have been able to reach our arm out the window and, and touch, touch another, another RV. RV. <laughs> and not the best situation, no. but know what you're getting into before you pay for that spot. Right, and also take consideration into the noise factor. You could be uh, looking for a place, and if it's close to an airport or a military air base, um, also like there's a, a park that accepts a lot of kids and dogs, and there was some, one other noise factor we were thinking of. What was it? Kind of like right now, it's, there's a lot of kids and dogs walking by. Yeah, so. yeah, and highway noise. That was the other one. So yeah, you want to make sure the campground isn't like butted up right next to like a super highway that makes a lot of noise. And of course, this might be the number one for you is the cost. What does it cost to stay there at the park? And is there a discount for a longer term stay? Maybe a week, maybe a couple weeks or a month. Usually a month stay is gonna be your better deal. Right, and if you want any more details on that, check out our other video on how to save money when you RV and travel. Exactly. And the next thing you wanna consider are hookups. Does the campground have full hookups? Does it have partial hookups? You wanna know if you're gonna have dump stations, if you're dry camping, or you know what the situation is, because you have to plan for that. And it's starting to get, the sun's going down, I'm gonna take my sunglasses there we off. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, if it's a 30 or 50 amp hookup, uh, depending on what your RV takes. And we like to have, uh, you know, the full hookups with... Um, yeah, we do. Like my water <laughs> and electricity. Yeah, I mean, we, we do boondock occasionally, but from a comfort level, the full hookups are better. Are really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for Cherie. I like long showers. <laughs> Because when we dry camp, some of you may not know this, but you have to take really quick showers. You turn the water on, you get wet, you turn it off. You soap up, you wash your hair, you turn the water back on. Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the next one? All right. This one might be high on your list, maybe not, but it's bugs. <laughs> what are the bug situation like? Like mosquitoes or biting flies? Are you going to have to be putting on bug spray all the time and I they it's a, it's a personal thing with me it's not a big deal for some people <laughs> you're laughing down, at me when you came down to Florida you were like oh are there a lot of mosquitoes you're like so paranoid about mosquitoes and I was like I really don't have a problem with mosquitoes down in Florida but then we went up to Minnesota to visit his family and it was like swarms yeah. of mosquitoes I've never seen so many mosquitoes in my entire life yeah you think the mosquitoes would be worse in Florida it no. was awful They're way worse in and they Minnesota. were monsters too so that's a huge <laughs> camping factor when we camp in Minnesota yeah <laughs> <laughs> which is rare right right <laughs> and a top one for us because we work out of the RV is what is the Wi-Fi like or the cell signal yeah. because we get our internet Wi-Fi off of our cell phones uh, through AT&T unlimited plan and some people have that and some people try to make it work off the campground Wi-Fi which 
is usually not very good in almost all cases. So if you are gonna rely on that, definitely check the Wi-Fi out, ask in advance what that's really like. Check the reviews online Definitely. for that campsite. Yeah, because sometimes they'll advertise they do have Wi-Fi, but then the signal's not the best where you're located in the campground. Or so. you have to be by the office <laughs> yeah. to access it. Right. And you right. might be on the far end of the campground, so. Also be aware of like whatever social activities are in the area. <laughs> Always look ahead of time to see if there's gonna be like a Whole Foods or another type of alternative healthy grocery store. Yeah, and a favorite one with RVers is Walmart. Yeah. And that's a plus. If we're not close to a Whole Foods, at least Walmart has a few organic items that we can get or just a lot of really basic things, including some RV things if you need those. Yes. And also a consideration besides the cost is what's the cancellation oh. fee like if you have to change plans? And maybe you're looking at a certain cost that doesn't include discounts that might be available through Good Sam or Passport America. If you've been in the military, there could be a military discount. So make sure you check into that. And another one that I love to do is to negotiate or trade. Depending on the campground, maybe they need some work done there that you can help out with. Uh, you can actually help pay for uh, your stay there by doing some work for the campground or negotiating a lower rate and you can check out some of our other videos right. that go into some more detail with that. Yeah. And with that, the sun is going down. <laughs> it's an amazing sunset. Yeah, we don't want to miss it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the camera here at the end and we'll end with that. That sounds I'll pick good. It up and we'll, We're going to we'll, chase this sunset and yeah. in in it's a view of the city of Miami. Yeah, it's so. awesome. So please give the video a thumbs up if you like it and comment what questions you hey. have or tips that you would like to give us or other RVers or potential RVers Always. out there. Yes and uh, subscribe to the channel and we've got more videos like this coming out and yep. let me grab that camera and catch some of this sunset here for you Okay, so we're down here at the park in Miami, what, South, South Miami? South Point. South Point, yeah, where we can see a sunset over downtown Miami. And there's yeah. Tom. Yeah. Hey, Tom. This is an awesome spot for a sunset. Look at that sunset over there with the downtown. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can zoom in a little bit at a time. There we go. So what we're gonna do here this evening is what we like to do is we chase sunsets, right? We like to chase sunsets. Yeah, and we like to have maybe a little beverage uh, while we're watching right. the sunset. And tonight it's the salted beer and this, our favorite, the Corona. And he's gonna show right you here. how to correctly salt a beer. Now this is a lime salt. Yeah. And if you've never had a beer with lime salt before, it is the bomb. Let's see, right yep, there. there we go, beer salt, yes. Take this here, kind of wet the top there, give that salt something to stick to. Yep. Oh, this is good, good, good. It's the only way I'll drink a beer. And, and usually we like to do the- Shake that salt on there. Yeah, let's see if I can get it up close. Yeah. And usually uh, we like to do like the glass long necks and you just do it on the side of the long neck. But since we're out here at a park in a public area, we bring the fun little cans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not our favorite, but yeah. it's a great substitute when you're watching a sunset. Exactly. So and put then the lime see. right there if you want, or this is a nice little holding spot right there. Nice. So, and we changed cameras because the battery died on my first one. Apply the salt. You can get this almost anywhere. Pop this open. Just like so. Stick it right there and they'll hold that beer. All right, and then. Let's see if we can uh, get a cheers. The cheers. two of us for sunset. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. 
So cheers, y'all. Awesome. Cheers, you guys. I was gonna say cheers, y'all. <laughs> cheers, y'all. I'm from the south. I can say cheers, y'all. And there's that sunset through there. So let us know if you try this fun technique and that little special lime salt on your beer. We'd love yeah, to hear about it. Exactly. If we found that lime salt at Walmart. Yeah, that little one was that at Walmart. That little tiny one. Yeah, big one I ordered online at Amazon. Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah. Good, almost as good as a margarita. Exactly. <laughs> Go out and chase some sunsets. Cheers.